Armed with the Koran and the gun, the people of Hamas are trained to hate Israel beginning at early childhood. For more than two decades, Hamas terrorized Israelis through suicide bombings and thousands of rocket attacks. Its charter clearly calls for the end of Israel and its replacement by an Islamic entity from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea. While Hamas military leaders were planning terror attacks on Israeli restaurants and buses, Mossab Hassan Youssef was growing up as the son of a respected Hamas founder. He became disillusioned with some in Hamas and began questioning his Islamic faith. To Muslims, um, the God of the Quran means uh, the uh, God Almighty. Allah, the translation for the word Allah, means God, God Almighty. Now, uh, but unfortunately, the God of the Quran, if we compare his personality to the uh, personality of the God of the Bible, we will find the difference. So it doesn't matter if Satan come and uh, uh, appear and tell people I am God or I'm Jesus Christ and people start to follow him. This doesn't make, make him Jesus Christ because he has a name. What matters how he acts. From their fruits we know them. And the fruits of the God of the Quran is killing, terrorism, uh, uh, beating women, um, killing children. This is uh, the real fruit of uh, the God of uh, the Quran. Instead of planning terror attacks, Youssef began to prevent them as he worked with Israel's security agency, the Shin Bet. To protect his cover as a double agent, Youssef endured several stints in Israeli prisons. Do you have any resentment toward the Israelis? They tortured you. They've killed your friends and relatives. Okay. Do you have any resentment toward them? Bad feelings? Okay, so what, 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 what are your suggestions? Th rather than moving on. What, th sh should I like, for example, like uh, go torture them <laughs> in return? Think about those people who tortured me, you know, and I forgot about them a long time ago. They were 19 years old, 20 years old uh, soldiers who beat me almost to death. I don't know where they are now. I don't know what they're doing. And uh, look at me today. Uh, I could uh, heal, I could uh, move on, and uh, now I can, uh, I'm in a much better position to deal uh, with the, the problem. What I learned through this experience, how to win over my enemy, not how to take revenge from them. And uh, the best answer for all the pain that I have uh, inside and the uh, bad memories that I'm fighting it today with the weapon of uh, love. This is how Christ uh, defeated the world. When he loved in the most difficult uh, position, uh, uh, and painful uh, on, the, on the cross. And this is uh, our highest example. Uh, shouldn't we learn from, from him? In his new book, Son of Hamas, Youssef tells how he not only turned his back on Hamas, but found true peace through faith in Jesus Christ. To be honest with you, this is a whole uh, process. I, uh, some people I know Jesus Christ uh, might appear to them in a vision or a dream. In my case, uh, I wanted uh, to be the smart uh, person uh, and uh, to go in a logical uh, process. So it took me six years uh, to study. It's, uh, that transformation uh, wasn't over uh, one night. It was gradually and uh, I had to study Christianity, uh, Islam from the beginning and uh, study other uh, religions, not only Christianity and uh, Islam. Also, I considered at some point uh, not to believe in any religion and I was going uh, nowhere. Uh, uh, the only path I found uh, uh, peace. Uh, um, and I, I think it's uh, good for me and good for all humankind is uh, uh, Jesus Christ's path.